peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We're back in nature. I just came back from the Cape Verde Islands. Amazing. I got my tan up. So much beauty in the world. You have to travel, you have to explore because if you don't, you're going to be shouting at yourself in 20 years time. Why didn't I do it? Tapping into your infinite power. How to tap into your infinite power? There is infinite energy on the universe. We live in an illusion of lack, the myth of scarcity. I've realized on my journey there's more than enough to go around. And the more you travel to beautiful nature places around the world, natural environments, you really see what Mother Nature is capable of. You see that there is so much food, <laughs> there is so much air, there is so much scenery that can really empower us. But many of us, we stay closed in one space. If you don't venture out, you'll never see anything. If you don't go outside of your comfort zone, you will always remain in the same position. I've found the more I push myself to the limit, go where I normally wouldn't go, that is how I tap into my infinite power. The infinite energy which is accessible to everyone on the planet. And the best thing about it is free. Many of us, we're living in fear, which is false evidence appearing real. Whenever you're living in fear, you freeze, the energy stops, and you become blocked. So to tap into your infinite power, you have to flow. Yoga helps, eating clean organic food, foods that will raise your vibration help. It's a state of mind, heaven is a state of mind, hell is a state of mind. We're creating our reality through our thoughts. I said a long time ago in my diary, thoughts are like children, take care of them. Every single thought is a child. So much is going on right now in the planet and I see how so many people are connecting together. The family beyond your family. Sisters and brothers who are connecting. It's just simply mind-boggling what the internet is doing. But we are the original technology. The computer was modeled after the human brain. The DNA is a biological internet. It seems far-fetched, but in the next coming years, more technology will be introduced to humanity. And just like hundreds of years ago, people said, I don't believe anyone could fly. Now look, aeroplanes are in the sky. How is this possible? Because when you don't have limits, when you don't have limitations, you begin to explore the realm of the infinite. God is a DJ. <laughs> Mother Nature is a DJ. Not God as in a beard, but the universal force that permeates everything in existence plays music to us. The whole of life is about flow. It's all a dance. Life is a great dance. To tap into that infinite energy, that infinite power within you, on my journey I've realized that you have to let go of society's expectations. Stop trying to please everyone. <laughs> and it's hard. The more you follow your inner voice, once you listen to your heart, you're able to go where the crowd cannot. And then new revelations start revealing themselves to you. There is a lot of stress in the world we're living in. The whole world seems to have gone mad. When I was leaving from the Cape Verde Islands, guess what? The plane was cancelled. For some people, that's not a bad thing because it's beautiful beaches. But at the same time, we were a bit alarmed because we were hoping to go back. We had work to do. 
How do you deal with that? When nature throws things your way. The attitude we take is key. You don't have any control over what happens to you. You only have control of how you respond. The attitude we have is creating a blood chemistry within the body. And that is one way you can tap into your infinite power because nature is constantly testing us. This is earth school. We came here to discover ourselves, to grow for personal development. Therefore, it's a training school. Planet Earth is a training school. And Mother Nature is playing with her children, teaching them as we go along. So you have to embrace every circumstance that comes your way on the planet. On my journey, I'm not looking at things in polarity so much anymore. That this is negative, that this is positive. There is no positive or negative, there are only consequences for our actions. It's amazing because you think you are the only one who feels this great shift which is happening. However, the more you connect with kindred spirits, you realize that all around the world, people are awakening to a world of infinite possibilities. We are sleeping giants on the planet. <laughs> so many of us, once you know thyself, once you really surrender to your true authentic being, then you tap into your infinite power. You know when you've tapped into your infinite power because you realize that you feel lighter. Your body feels like it can fly and it can. Just give it some time. <laughs> but so much information is coming to the forefront. The gates have been opened right now on the planet. We're living in a new paradigm. The power is within. Once you do not externalize your power, you tap into your infinite power. You can't rest on your laurels. For me on my journey, Nature is dynamic. The wave is constantly changing. Life is unpredictable because nature is change. The only permanent thing in nature is change. Therefore, we have to change our mind to change our world. The body, mind, spirit are interchangeable. Once your body is healthy, then your mind will become healthy, then your spirit will become healthy. You begin to glow. You begin to tap into your infinite power, which is endless. A great thing, if you look at the pyramid, any pyramid, look what happens. At the base of the pyramid, there's so many stones. However, as you ascend the pyramid, it becomes narrower. Therefore, few stones are needed. That is a metaphor for our ascension. The higher you rise in consciousness, the lighter you become, the less you need to carry. And that is a way to tap into your infinite power, to let go. Many people don't want to go against the grain. We don't want to upset our family members, uncles, aunties, best friends and cousins to say, we don't want to live in your world, we want to create our own. It's scary. For me on my journey, I've had to make a lot of sacrifices. But in the long run, it's only served for my inner development, my growth, my expansion. Many of us on the planet, we're living in a contract. You have to go to work. Now is the time on the planet where you create your own work. You become your own guru. Love yourself. Nothing outside of yourself will save you. That is a great way to tap into your infinite power. The truth can't be told, it has to be realized. A lot of people say, why do you even bother making videos? For me, this is relaxation. It's just a song. If this resonates with you, press play. If not, fast forward. <laughs> it's amazing once you break the contract. 
the science of the smile. I did a video years ago on the science of the smile. When you smile, you are breaking the contract. The lines are going outwards. They are expanding, therefore you feel happier, you feel lighter, you tap into your infinite power. You feel this euphoria engulfing the body. As you frown or you don't smile, you begin to contract. You feel more miserable. You feel more closed in your space. And to frown takes more muscles than to smile. So breaking the contract is about smiling. Feeling freer, connecting to the universal energy that permeates everything in existence. I have to do a video about sexual alchemy and kundalini as well. And anyone that has any more ideas for videos they want me to dive into, just send them to my email infinitewaters at gmail.com. It's amazing. In this new paradigm, we are creating something new which has not been done before. We're creating new ways of living, working. We're creating a new way of educating ourselves in this new paradigm where you become the master and the student. You don't look outside of yourself for answers. You only see other people as your equal. There is no worship here outside of yourself. That is another way to tap into your infinite power. The whole streets that we walk upon, the cities that we fill, how is the energy on the planet right now? What do you feel in your heart? Realizing that you can make a change in humanity just by changing yourself. How you are, your aura, your auric field, affects everything around you. We can influence others just by going within and accessing our higher self. We don't have to do anything else apart from be and accept ourselves 100%. Authenticity is what is lacking in so many people's hearts and minds on the planet. To live from the heart, we must accept our own state of slavery. How so many of us, we enslave ourselves. Nobody is doing anything to us. We are our greatest enemy. Yes, there is manipulation on the planet. But once you realize that the greatest enemy and the greatest battle lies within, then you tap into your infinite power because essentially you become the hero of your own story, more so you become the villain of your own story. So it's you against you. Once you conquer your inner demons, you tap into your infinite power. Activate the love energy not even in the romantic sense, but in a sense where you respect every single life form on the planet. Animals are not just here to be eaten. They also have their own unique experience and destiny to fulfill. So we have to respect all life forms on the planet to tap into our infinite power. There are so many levels and it's endless, it's infinite. Therefore, we have to move with the wave. We have to remain consistent in whatever we do. Wake up early. That's what I'm doing more and more on my journey. Don't just do it one day, do it every single day for the rest of your life. That is the key to longevity. The secret is consistency. We're living in beautiful times on the planet. We're living in a world where we're at the cusp of something phenomenal happening in so many of our lives on a collective scale. It's already happened for some people. They're already in inner balance. 
However, for a collective, because we're governed by everything around us, more work is needed to tap into our infinite possibilities and power as a collective. When we realize, when we promote wellness in our society, things can change. When we don't impose our belief systems on others and allow them to discover for themselves, things will change. When we essentially begin to explore the world, the secret world, which is within us all, we see new ways, new insights, new discoveries. This is it. Watch TV, the TV, which I used to sit down in front of for so many years, a long time ago. I felt something was missing when I used to watch a lot of TV because I was neglecting the inner voice within me, which was discover yourself. So once we can realize that the TV tells lies to your vision, but it's not negative, it's not positive because there are some great programs on TV, but essentially that's what it is. It's a program. Take it for what it is. When you realize your mind can become a TV, your mind is the internet. Your mind is the radio. We can communicate telepathically. All of these senses which have been dormant, which have been in atrophy, are now reawakening in the lives of so many around the planet. When we focus on ourselves, on our inner growth, we are able to send off healing energy to everybody who comes into our domain. We've been taken on a big ride on the planet, but it's okay because it's all part of Earth's evolution. Earth is also evolving. Therefore, we have to follow suit. It's about rising to the next level, getting that reality check where you realize much of what you've been told about the world is not true. How do you respond? Are you gonna get angry or are you gonna do something about it? Are you gonna put your words into actions? Many of us, we're caught in fear. Therefore, we focus on fear. Are you focusing on what you want or are you focusing on what you fear? This is my daily mantra, which allows me to tap into my infinite power because I realize I am the architect of my own reality. <laughs> You have to get crazy, be bizarre, be weird, because there is nothing wrong with you. That is another way to tap into your infinite power. When you surrender to your unique way of seeing the world, it's not about fitting in, going along to get along, doing what your friends and family feel you should be doing, go to college, go and study. No, I want to be a dancer. Fulfill the dream. You know what you came here to do. Everybody came to planet Earth for a different reason. Some people had in their itinerary, I just want to work 60 hours a week. That's beautiful. Some people had in their itinerary, I want to live the most free, expansive, magnificent existence possible. Therefore, we must listen to ourselves once again to know what we came here to do. You can't save everyone because not everyone is here to be saved. Not everyone needs to be saved. Not everyone needs to see the world how you do. I've had to deal with this on my journey. Therefore, I let go. It's not about convincing anybody. It's about allowing others and giving them the freedom to experience their own reality as they see fit. But I'm going to do me. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone who has connected to Infinite Waters over the years. You are appreciated and loved. 
I attempt to respond to every email. It's hard, but I do see most of them. Stay well on your journeys. Continue to dive deep. Continue to question everything and assume nothing. Continue to share because if you don't give anything, you will never receive anything from the universe. We have to open up ourselves to the universe. Everything is returned that way. Stay well, stay healthy, activate your power right now, right here. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, 